Good evening everyone. There has been a recent issue in the relationship between the Chief Minister post and the Governor's post in the state. The Tamil Nadu Governor has raised an important issue that the Governors are using their discretionary powers in passing the bills under Article 200. The bills which was passed by state legislature. They are not passing within the required time, rather they are withholding the bills indefinitely. This was the issue which was also visible in the Tamil Sai versus uh, Mr. KCR issue in Telangana. As a result, uh, Tamil Nadu government passed a legislation recently saying that all the governments or the governor has to pass the bills within a stipulated amount of time and he has also written to the president of India regarding the same thing along with the union government. Further, Mr. Stalin also has written to many opposition ruled states in which the Delhi government accepted his uh, policy, the Kerala government has accepted as well as Ms. Bio, Ms. Mamata Benerji from West Bengal also passed the similar type of resolution asking the governor to pass the bills within stipulated amount of time. In this, we have to understand what exactly is the importance of this constitutional punctuality. That is, whenever we are seeing some issues like President not giving assent to the bills or speakers not taking any decision under 10th schedule of Indian constitution or as per article 200, the governors are withholding the bill without sending it to the President nor returning it to the uh, houses of the state legislature are extremely seen as a tussle between uh, the chief minister or duly represented uh, constitutionally elected government versus the center appointed nominee of chief minister or governor. In this perspective, we have to understand what exactly are the federal relations and what is the importance of this constitutional punctuality as far as clearing of the bills are considered. So it was started that Recently, Tamil Nadu governor, as I have said, they have passed a resolution and they have requested the Tamil Nadu other governments. As a result, the chief ministers of Delhi, the chief ministers of Kerala, West Bengal have expressed their support to Mr. Stalin regarding these issues. In order to stop these issues, all these constitutional machineries, such as the governors, the president of India, as well as the speakers, they have to make it as a sumo to declaration to clear the bills within a stipulated amount of time. Why they have to do this? If you look at the basic or some constitutional machineries or advanced constitutional machineries such as USA or Scotland or for that sake uh, UK from where we have taken majority of our constitution. In the United Nations, United Kingdom, this constitutional machinery such as governor or the president do not have any power to veto the bills because we United Kingdom has sovereignty of parliament. When it goes to USA, there is a time frame on passing of the bills by the speaker. If they are stopping it for more than 10 days, obviously the bill is considered as to be passed. Even in the Scotland, the similar law exists. Hence, when these countries are having this norm, why India should have an indefinite uh, stay on the passing of the bills. This is the highly potential question that was asked recently. Now, let's understand what is this message actually is. As per Article 200, the Governor of India has, the Governor of any Indian state has four powers, either he can assent to the bills, whether he can reject the bills or he can return to the bills or withhold the assent to the bills or he can send it to the president's review. However, the clause of withholding comes with no time frame. Hence, governors are exercising or thinking that this is a discretionary power and they are exercising this undue discretionary power. As per 200, Article 200, it is not discretionary power. Why it is not discretionary power? Because if you look at the original constitutional debates when this Article 200 was introduced, there was a clause in that original provision saying that in the discretion of governor under Article 200. But in the Constitution Assembly debates, Dr. Baba Saheb Ambedkar clearly said that this clause of discretionary power of governor has to be removed under Article 200. As a result, the present text of Article 200 doesn't give any discretionary power to uh, the governors per se. Hence, governors should not think that this is discretionary powers and create a long job in the relationships between the state legislature and the so-called gubernatorial positions of the states. Further, if you look at the Supreme Court judgments, the most important judgment is coming from 
Sham Sher Singh vs. State of Punjab in the year 1974. In the Sham Sher Singh vs. State of Punjab, the Supreme Court clearly said that the discretionary power, when it was held that discretionary power of governor, it has to be used in the very limited sense and only for the public interest. Further, it should not be stopped at any cost if the, it is relating to the bills. Hence, Governor, though it, he was given discretionary powers, as per this Shamshir Singh versus State of Punjab, he has to use it in a very limited fashion or she has to use it in a limited fashion. Further, Supreme Court has reiterated many times that Governor, whenever he is exercising his functions, he has to exercise as per the aid and advice of Council of Ministers said by the Chief Minister, but this was not being maintained in many of the cases. The same thing was also done by the Speaker because under Schedule 10 of Indian Constitution, anti-defection provisions are given and it is giving indefinite time period for the Speaker in order to decide disqualifications under 10th Schedule. This clause was highly misused by the Speakers across the states for the the chairman and speaker of the Lok Sabha parliament or Lok Sabha Rajya Sabha inside the parliament. In order to overcome this problem, the honorable speaker to the honorable speaker of Manipur way back in the year 2020 in the Megha Chandra Singh versus Manipur speaker, the Supreme Court has said that it has to be cleared within four weeks. They have to decide within four weeks. Hence, what is the point here? Even the constitutions from where we have taken the reference do not have any time limit or they have time limit as far as this passing of the bills are considered. They do not have any extra constitutional machinery or extra discretionary powers to these bodies. Hence, India which has taken majority of our constitution from these constitutions, we should also fix a punctuality on the constitutional machineries like governor, speaker and president whenever they are going to decide on some of the cases, thereby create a smooth functioning of constitutional machinery. So very important for our prelims, are, sorry, for our mains as far as this is considered, please go through the same Shir Singh versus state of Punjab, remember that and the so-called recent uh, Megha Chandra Singh versus uh, Speaker of Manipur. These are the two things and the latest judgment that the Supreme Court has said as far as Tamil Nadu versus Telangana Governor versus Chief Minister incident is covered. They have clearly passed a message that the governor should uh, pass the bill as long as early as possible. Hence, this is clearly telling that uh, the discretionary power should not be misutilized or it should not be construed as discretionary power as per Article 200 and kill the reach, kill the amount of time that is there in passing of the bills. Very good article was written. This is the article. Thanks for joining. Have a great day.